Now we open select and we will only include the customer who didn't buy PA. So click the calculate icon, click PA equal zero. So the customer didn't buy PA. Click OK. Click apply and OK. So now we choose the customer who didn't buy PA. And then we are going to calculate the your logistic regression to calculate the score. So click fill ops and use derive. Connect the select to derive. Double click derive. And now we will use the this this one VA. Use VA to calculate. VA. And for the formula, we need to use the result of logistic regression. So we are going to open the PA and then find this result. So we open the calculate icon and input the result. So for the age should should multiplied by minus point 4.292 plus ms multiple by minus 3.888 plus pc minus by multiple by 0. Point 471 plus gender 1 multiple by 2.711 plus the constant which is 4.569 so let's check it it should be right right so click check and OK and then we can click apply and preview the final result. So you will see that the gender, the the VA is the number and click apply, okay. And then we can use the VA to calculate the to calculate the XP VA. So we are going to calculate X AXP VA, we also use derive and then connect VA to derive. Double click it, we use AXP VA and then formula. Click the calculator icon and then we find the X, AXP. So go to scroll down and find AXP and we click VA and slash, which is divided by. 1 plus exp va and now click check ok and click apply and we can preview the final result and we can see the expected va so click apply ok now next we are going to sort the highest the, the top customer will sort and then we go to the record ops and find sort connect it to sort open sort and then we use the expected VA and then descending click apply ok and then you can preview it you can see here the top the top expected VA and then we are going to choose the first 50 customers. So we will use the sample, which is in the record ops. Connect the sample. Double click it. And first, we are going to choose the first 50 customer. 50, click apply and OK. And you can use the table to see the output. Click output and connect the table. And double click it. And click run. Preview. Click run. 
Now, if you click run, and you will have the result. And this is the top 50 customer. And the highest highest has almost one, which is 100%. So you get the 50 top prospect. And next, we are going to use K-means cluster to segment the customers. I will use a new dataset, which is cluster.xlsx. It's an Excel file, and import it, and then use the type to read in the record ID and input, and then use K-means, and separate it into two cluster, and then get the result. So we are going to go, go to the SPSS modeler and, and find a black, blank place and then source, click source and find Excel, drag and drop to Excel. Now we use Excel file. So, and this is file as the latest version. So we use the file type as the latest version. And we are going to tell the import file it's cluster, double click it, and then click apply. If you want to preview it, you can preview it. You can see here, this data set have country, GMP, the invest, this unemployment, the rate, and inflation rate, interest, and the region. Click OK, and we want to segment them so now, first we use type. Let's go into field ops and connect this to type. Double click the type. And you need to set the country as record ID and the others except the region as import. So change the region into none. Click apply and OK. So now you can segment and click modeling. Click segment and find K means. And connect the type to k-means open the k-means and now it's the model name is auto we use the auto method and number of cluster we use two click apply and you can run and now you can see the final result here wait for some time it will show out so it has eight record and except it separate into two cluster. The first has five record, the cluster size is five. The other one has three. And you can click here the model summary. Click cluster. And you can see the result. How they can sep separate these two. And the inputs of each one. And you can also click preview here to see what record is in which cluster. You can see the first the country A is in cluster 1 and country B is in class 2. Click OK. So now let's go back to, to the PowerPoint. And here is the final result. And now this is the whole tutorial tool, and if you have any question, you can call this number or send me an email, and I will explain it. And thank you for watching this tutorial too.